He was reaching for a shopping cart, but in a flash it was him being bagged, not his groceries. Three undercover cops swarmed the fugitive in a supermarket, finally arresting a notorious gangster on the run since 2014. That's almost half of his adult life. This pinch marks the end of an era, a golden age of elite continental criminals, the old school kind, colorful swashbuckling pros, the kind we see in movies, pulling outrageous bank heists, crafty art thefts, and dazzling robberies that seize the public's imagination. The mob reporter here with news of the arrest of one of Europe's most wanted fugitives, named as the last free member of one of Spain's most famous gangs, led by a criminal mastermind known as Casper. That makes this man Casper's last ghost. Let me tell you about it. January 9, 2023 was the last day of freedom for Eric de Ventura Pacheco, at least for now. His nickname is Peru. With a burly salt and pepper beard and mustache, Peru looks dramatically different from his last known mugshot. But I guess that's the goal when you're running from the law. He wore a parka and wool cap. It was also winter when he disappeared. In December 2014, he was expected in court to take his seat alongside two dozen others for trial, all accused of being a notorious gang of big-ticket bandits one of the largest and most active criminal collectives in the modern history of Spain. Everyone that day had their eyes on the boss, Ankel Suarez Flores, known as Casper. He was, without doubt, the marquee defendant. Casper was famous, a name splashed in headlines for years. He was an early innovator, among the first to use professional locksmiths and cutting torches, alarm specialists, and industrial drills. He installed spy cameras and surveillance. Like heists in movies, Casper's crew would burrow through walls, floors, or ceilings, and crawl out to scoop their loot. He earned the nickname Casper, after the friendly cartoon ghost, not because of his demeanor, but for his ability to avoid arrest. When police moved to arrest him, he would disappear. So seeing Casper in court was electrifying, and the empty chair where Peru was supposed to be didn't get much attention. The judge noticed, of course, and police issued a warrant for his arrest, but the trial plowed ahead. If Peru was following the trial from wherever he was hiding, he probably thought he made a pretty good decision. When the prosecution asked for sentences, for all accused, totaling almost a thousand years, Casper alone was sentenced to 89 years in prison. After so much daring do in life, his death was a sad fizzle. It sprung from a foe more relentless than any gangland rival, cancer, in 2021. Another of Casper's famous confederates was equally as vivid. Juan Manuel Candela Sapiea, known as El Sapo, Spanish for the Toad. El Sapo joined Casper on some of his most famous jobs. In an epic bank job on Christmas Eve in 1999, they didn't hit the vault, but looted private safety deposit boxes in a wealthy town. El Sapo says they made off with the equivalent of $16 million. For an encore, they pulled a grandiose art theft in 2001. From the home of Spain's richest woman, they made off with 19 high-value paintings and sculptures, including works by Goya, valued at more than $300 million. But even the best sometimes stumble. Casper and El Sapo were lured to a Madrid hotel in an undercover sting, where an FBI agent posed as an art specialist for a purported underworld buyer. But they cut a deal with the victim in 2004 and served just a year in prison. El Sapo is hardly a ghost. He's now on Twitter, the author of a book written while in prison, and has recently starred in an Amazon Prime documentary about his life. He's done interviews to promote it. He's gone legit, he says, and now sells gold. To prepare to take to Dubai, Europe, China, or wherever you want. That is up to you. The buyer is the chief. And you do whatever you want, okay? 
the wave of publicity and nostalgia for El Sapo on TV and for Casper in the obituaries might have driven Peru a bit crazy as he was forced to skulk around, squandering his prime years in a quiet life of disguises and uncertainty. But by doing so, Peru proved a difficult catch. And no wonder, given his supposed underworld specialties, he was a logistics man doing underworld espionage and technical surveillance. Now, although Casper's gang is often romanticized, there was a significant dark side to his enterprise. Casper developed a dangerous sideline. In Spain, they call them buelcos, rollovers, meaning they waited for others to import drugs into Europe and then stole it from them. Sometimes that allegedly meant Peru used GPS tracking and other technological tricks to track shipments and people from South America through Spanish ports. Sometimes it allegedly meant hands-on persuasion. People were kidnapped, threats were made, fingers and toes were cut, police say. It was during one of these types of messy affairs, when Casper threatened to kidnap a businessman's daughters in 2010, that Peru found himself in trouble. The fearful businessman went to the cops, and when Casper and Peru returned, they were arrested. After his escape, Peru was a bothersome loose end for police, and in September they turned up the heat to find him. Peru was added to Europe's most wanted list, a public appeal for help finding a list of top fugitives. Investigators received several tips at the end of 2022 that Peru was living in a town in the province of Toledo. It was a bold move, or rather, a bold lack of movement. He was living less than an hour's drive from downtown Madrid, Spain's capital. Police traced a man to a home there, but it was hard to tell if it was Peru. This man was much thinner, had white in his beard, and was careful about showing his face. Police hadn't seen Peru in almost a decade. On January 9th, the man left the house in a hat and sunglasses. Police followed him to a grocery store. When he entered, the man took off his glasses, and plainclothes cops got a good look at his face. They were looking for a dimple on his nose and a mole on his cheek. They made the call. Grab him. Although Peru looked surprised, he didn't resist. Police accuse him of 36 crimes, including torture, kidnapping, threats, and illegal possession of guns and ammunition. He had a long run, but maybe not much fun. Even in the best of times, it would be hard to top the rush from running with Casper and El Sapo. But at least he has stories to tell in prison. Please tap the thanks button on this video and join me on Patreon for perks and bonus content. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. That helps keep the fire burning. Thanks for watching.